This is the Star News Brief. I'm Mark Gitau. Azimio boss Raila Odinga on Wednesday initiated a ruthless purge to kick out President William Ruto's associates within his Orange Party. The ODM party leader, in a decision loaded with far-reaching political ramifications, okayed the expulsion of five out of eight MPs who had publicly switched allegiance to the president. The MPs are Elisha Odiambo from GEM, Karoli Omondi from Suba South, Gideon Ochanda from Bondo, Felix Oduor alias Jalango from Langata, and Kisomo Senator Professor Tom Ojenda. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper with only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com. Former Mamalusi Hospital social worker Fred Leparan, who was accused of child trafficking at the facility two years ago after an expose by the BBC, has been found guilty. Milimani Senior Principal Magistrate Esther Kimilu found that the elements of conspiracy were also proven against Leparan. In her judgment, delivered on Wednesday morning, the magistrate said the prosecution proved that Leparan held three meetings and the court concluded that the discussion in the meetings was for the sale of a child. The National Employment Authority has been put on the spot for allegedly falling to tame rogue recruitment agencies who con unsuspecting Kenyans desperate for jobs. Senators and Koto have demanded its disbursement for not reining in the firms despite public outcry. This comes after revelations the agency has not stopped the operations of fast choice recruitment and consulting accused of swindling the youth millions of shillings. Nasteha Mweru bears the scar of stigma as everyone in her Kayole neighborhood regards her as the mother of a thug who was gunned down by police in April. Her son Mabriel Mweru, 26 years, was like her partner in confronting the harsh economic times, but he is no more. Mab, as he was known among his peers, was found gunned down one Friday night and police paraded a knife and several smartphones besides his body. He was tagged a thug who deserved death. At least 20 African countries on Wednesday signed a declaration demanding an end to the injustice whereby rich polluting nations block Africans from accessing money to fight the effects of climate change. The declaration was read by President William Ruto. He said the continent will speak in one voice in the upcoming United Nations Climate Change Conference in Dubai and in future meetings. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper with only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com.